Um, I just want to say, <coughs> sorry, I just want to say that I have a Wattpad account. Yay! And, um, probably you've been wondering, I think some people were wondering if I use Google Plus. Yes, I actually use Google Plus. Like, I don't just use it for the comments. I just actually really use it because some of my, so some of my um, subscribers and my friends are also on Google Plus. So I um, keep in touch with them. But enough about freaking Google Plus. Let's talk about freaking Wattpad. Um, <coughs> I'm going to post the Wattpad. I'm going to post the Wattpad thingy, thingy, thingamajig, <laughs> the Wattpad website. Um, if you guys, um, have a Watt, Watt, I almost said Wattpad, Wattpad account, then you can, um, follow me, and I have three followers. Let's make the brightest future ever. But, um, I just want to say that my Wattpad account is the same thing as my YouTube account and my Google Plus. Um, but it doesn't have a space in the middle. It doesn't have the space in between Psycho and Saint. It's just together. Except Saint, the S, is capitalized. Okay. Now I'm going to read one of my, uh... Books I'm working on. I am actually working on The Eye of Majora and Love and Termina. Biggest reasons. And so I am going to read. <coughs> I'm going to read. Sorry if I'm coughing a lot. I'm going to read I The Eye of Majora. This is. Um, um, it says in the summary, this creepypasta is going to be about my creepypasta OC. Please don't be mean since this is my first time here. Now let's start reading the book, shall we? So this is the beginning. This isn't the backstory, this is just the beginning of the book. And let's read it. Yay! Okay, one day, a girl named Emily went to a convenience store to buy some Nintendo 64 games since she had enough money for from her allowance. She, sur she, she searched. She searched for Sims of the game. She used to watch her brother play and wanted to give the game a shot. She, she couldn't find it. She <coughs> asked the cashier a question. Um, do you have this game called Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask? Asked Emily. Well, yes we do. But since you asked nicely, you can have it for free. So the cashier, Emily politely thanked, politely thanked him, waved goodbye, then skipped home. She grabbed the game out of her bag and gave a puzzled look. The cartridge had a yellow color and written on it was MN. Emily, Emily quickly discarded the uncomfortable feeling and began playing the game. When the game save files sh showed up, there was already a ga game file there. It was titled Penny. Yes, my real... Well, not my real name, because I'm not going to even say it. My <coughs> OC's um, original name was Penny. But, you know, let's continue on with the story. Um, <coughs> it must have been the owner's name. Emily thought, without being rude, she chose a new safe phone and started to play. Everything was normal until she entered the Deco Palace, where everything was all glitchy and the music with the Lost Woods music, but backwards. She put down the controller and looked surprised. What happened to the game? Emily mumbled. Then a text box appeared, saying, What's wrong? Don't you want to keep playing? As a Deku statue appeared in front of the screen, but behind the text box, obviously. Looking, and it looked like it was drowning. Suddenly, the game started over to the safe file screen. She decided to turn the game off and drift it up, and try to drift off to sleep. But once again, a text box showed up saying, Please don't like me like the others did. Emily had a feeling of regret, and that regret was turning off the game. So she continued playing the game, 
until the very end. After that, she f still felt something, and it was sadness. She wanted to see Penny so she could apologize about earlier, but Penny wouldn't respond. After three weeks, Emily finally, finally sold the game away, but after that, she was never to be seen again. Penny was disappointed about her friend selling her away, and it made her angry. So now when people buy her a game, <coughs> she'll make them play, play it until it's finished, and make them fear, feel her fear of when she drowned. And she would say, you've met with a terrible fret, fate, haven't you? And that was the, like, end of the book. So I'm going to read the background of my OC story. Now let's continue reading. And this is why <coughs> her name is Psycho, not Penny. Penny was just an ordinary girl playing their Nintendo 64 games, but her, but her favorite was Majora's Mask. As her parents disappeared, she was forced to live with her two brothers, Isaac and Dolan. I'm sorry about the laughter in the background. That's um, outside of my office thingy. I had to take a sip. It has always been punished by them. And the only way she, she would break away from her set is... <coughs> Alright? Were from games. But then Dolan snapped. He had enough babysitting Penny around, so he came up with a plan to put Penny to rest. As Penny was playing her games, she was knocked down by knocked out by Al <coughs> I almost said Alex. Isaac. <laughs> Holy crap, I cannot talk if I keep coughing. And he pulled her to Dolan, then G <coughs> I'm sorry for my coughing. Holy crap. Like throw her into the lake. Penny, while waking up, she find she realized that she was in deep water. Since she could she couldn't swim, she splashed her in the water until no other words could be heard from her. Truth is, I don't really know how to swim in real life either. Don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> but she was revived in Majora's Mess by a random mysterious force. Until Penny woke up, she wanted revenge for her what her blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, I cannot read my own text for what her brothers did to her. So her hand reached the TV screen and tucked on Dol Dolan's shirt collar, making him breathless. Um, I don't think that's what I meant to say. She pulled him into the water as, as her first lust was song played on the ballerina. Then she then stabbed her him at the mm, she then stabbed him with her great deity sword, leaving Isaac f fright frightened while looking at the TV screen. As the text box appeared, saying, Dolan met a terrible fate, and you will too, Isaac. Which Isaac quickly ran to the door, to the door, leaving him never to be seen again. Yay. Penny appe Penny's appearance changed. I think, um, there was supposed to be drastically... At the end of changed, but whatever. With her left eye being covered by her damp, dark brown and messy hair, with her with a glowing triforce on her turquoise green shirt. After that, she went out of the screen and went for a little walk in the woods. While in the woods, she saw a faceless, tall, and white figure. So obvious, <laughs> standing in front of her. Um, the figure pulled out a hand, then spoke. I'm sure the others would like to meet you, but your name shall be changed. As the figure stopped, Penny spoke. How about Psycho? Sure. Oh, I forgot to tell you my name. How rude of me. My name is Thunderman, but people call me Sunday. I mean, Thunder. <laughs> he said. <coughs> <coughs> As the days went by, Psycho enjoyed her stay in Thunder Mansion. It was happy, she found it. Yay, happy innings! So that was the background of my OC, and that was also the uh, story, the third person story of my OC. So, I hope you guys like um, that reading thingy. And, um, by the way, <coughs> creating a Wattpad account is very easy. All you need to do is put a username, and you put username, and then probably your email, and then your password, and then you're all set. So simple and so easy. By the, by the way, I'm not advertising anything. Wattpad belongs to Wattpad's creators. The story? 
that you just heard belongs to me. Yeah. May the Triforce be with you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.